Why, yes, I believe we shall. Oh, I got a live one here. <laughs> Live from Little Rock, it's Shane Plays Radio, Geek Talk Radio, a journey into the things we love. I'm Shane Stacks, your host. Thanks so much for joining us, whether you're listening live on 96.5 FM, The Answer, out of Little Rock, or via the stream on 96.5 FM, The Answer.com, or delayed by podcast, uh, which is available in multiple ways that I'll mention later when I get to the housekeeping notes. Uh, and is all, we're also carried a week delayed on Krypton Radio, Krypton Radio dot com is sci-fi for your wi-fi you're going to have a little bit of different format show today i've got several guests in studio so i hope it gets a little rowdy and a little crazy Woo! um there you go see already <laughs> and it's stephanie straw ladies and gentlemen so uh well coming back to the show uh to to talk games and, and good stuff we're gonna be talking about river city comic expo today but tune in um we're, we're gonna be talking about a lot of cool stuff we've got uh folks that behind river city comic expo the uh, Little Rock Picture Show. We got Stephanie from Game Goblins. We've got um, a guy who's got extensive uh, animation experience that's going to be there. It's going to be really cool. So keep listening. Now, what I normally do is go into my housekeeping notes right now. But what I'm going to do is because I got some people waiting on the phones, I invited them on. They're friends of the show. Uh, it's Well Not Studios. And I just wanted to give them a chance. There's a few days left on their Kickstarter for a new game they're doing. So I wanted to welcome them on the show and give them a couple of minutes to talk about that. Uh, so I, I I know somebody from Well Knots on the phone. Is it Joe and Hannah, or is it just Joe or Hannah? Who do we got? It's both of us. Whoa, hey, it's Rowdy. We've got six guests on right now. Wow, the studio's bulging. It seems, guys, j- just not to waste any time. Tell us what you're up to and what you called in about, and welcome back to the show. Oh, thanks, thanks. Shane. Uh, yeah, there's a week left on our Kickstarter. It's a game called Copper Dreams. Um, it's a cyberpunk kind of sci-fi uh, role-playing game. There's a lot of adventure elements. So if you're interested in any of that, you know, please check out the page. We got about yeah, a week left. Okay. It's really cool. Lots of um, cybernetics, chainsaw arms, harpoon arms. By the end of the game, you could be mostly robot. Well, that's great. So do, do you look at like your, your new cybernetic hand and crush something and say groovy? Does that happen in the game? Yeah, yeah. Witches down in the basement. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, hey guys. Also, real quick mention you you have this new uh, is it a burning candle game game engine that you're unveiling in this game that has this very cool sort of time based real time slash turn based kind of combat resolution. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a rule it's a role playing rule set we we created for it and it has a really neat um, yeah it's kind of time based. It's all turn based, but all your turns take time to execute. So it's kind of really tactical, and uh, it's more of a simulationist system like GURPS or something. If you're into that, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, we go into a lot of detail on the page. So, so if you're interested, check it out. All right. Well, I'm gonna. Uh, one of my guests today is heavy, heavy, heavy into games. It's Stephanie Straw, who is in search Straw here on Twitter. Stephanie, you got any questions or comments for Well Not Studios? Yeah, actually, I was gonna ask, what's the pledge? to get the game what's the what's the pledge that everyone wants to know to get the game on kickstarter yeah what's the basic uh, the, level there the basic level is 15 dollars, and it comes with a helpful handbook Ooh. that you can use to play the game now we made these physical journals that uh we're gonna we're gonna copy into a digital format for all the tiers and yeah 15 is the lowest very nice so now with um with Serpent in the Staglands, which is one of the most aesthetically cool games I've played in years and years and years, and it doesn't hold your hands, and Copper Dreams doesn't hold your hands either. So if you want a, a real game that you're like, every every success you have, you feel like you achieved, check out Copper Dreams and Serpent in the Staglands. But y'all did these cool sort of leather-bound notebooks or something with Serpent in the Staglands, and you did, you did sort of a wood-burned thing with Copper Dreams. How, do, how does that work? Yeah, they're made of wood. They have a leather binding, um, but we got a brand with the logo of one of the syndicates in the game. And so we're going to be branding each one of the uh, the wood pieces. All right, now... We're probably sewing those, but... And what level yeah, is... Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, they're all handmade by us, so they should be pretty... Yeah, they were fun before, yeah. People like them. All right, and, the, and what what's the first pledge level where they can get that book? That's seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars, and is there is there also a level where people don't they get like a custom, three uh, D printed 
uh, figure from the game? Yeah, we have a selection. We're actually going to be showing those off uh, soon. Um, it's fifty dollars, and yeah, you get a three D printed uh, figure uh, for one of the characters in the game. Um, that was kind of fun too. Okay. Uh, well, River folks, that's that's uh, Copper Dreams on Kickstarter. It's a very not only is it a cyberpunk computer role playing game, but it's cool and unique. Well, not does really unique stuff, and it's just as just for the aesthetics alone of of what you you guys blow me away. Uh, you know, I pumped Serpent in the Staglands just because what two people were able to accomplish with that game. Not not just for the fact that this is a great game in its own right. Uh, I wish I had time to talk to you longer, uh, but I definitely wanted to invite you on and and remind people about Copper Dreams. Uh, you're you're under you know you're what you're well three quarters. Um, you're over three quarters to your goal. You got a week left, so people make sure to support. Uh, well, not studios and Copper Dreams on Kickstarter, and I also wanted. Are you not going to be on Matt Chat this week? Is that not correct? Yeah, we actually talked to him yesterday, so I think he uh, he wanted to get that up in the next couple of days as well. Yeah, I know Matt wants to help you out. So, uh, no. so folks, make sure to uh, look for Matt Chat on YouTube or, or under Matt Barton. It's a, it's a great interview series on on computer games. It's one of the best things going out there. In fact, like Brian Fargo is an executive producer via Patreon for that. That's that he thinks it's really important. Guys, I wish I could have you on longer, um, but people go to uh, go to the, go to Kickstarter and look for Copper Dreams, or you can go to the show notes at shameplays dot com, and I, I've got the Kickstarter link there. But Joe and Hannah, I really appreciate you calling in. Is there any anything else you wanted to make sure to mention? Uh, no, we just you know, really appreciate you having us on. This was great. Yeah, good to talk to you again. Yeah, definitely. We'll have you on again down the road. Uh, you know, you're definitely friends of the show. I'm looking forward to the game. Uh, so, and, and you know, I'm I'm confident you'll get funded. So, thanks so much, and I'm really looking thanks forward to it. Have a good show. I'm yeah. backing it right now. Oh wow! There, you look at that. Hey, thank you. And I backed it, so I'm not <laughs> asking people to back a game that that I haven't backed myself. So I backed it. Thank you, Stephanie. So you're, you're backer number 714 now. So, all right, we're going to let you guys go. Thanks so much, Joe and Hannah. You, you guys are, are doing great stuff, and, and, and you know, you, you are beloved in the computer. Even the, even the Codex likes you. The Codex doesn't like anybody. So, all right. Yeah. All right, y'all have a good day. Thanks so much for calling in. Bye. All right, bye. Okay, that was Joe and Hannah Williams uh, from Well Not Studios. They are a married game development team and they put out really super cool stuff so go check that out all right back to the main show i've got uh several cool guests uh, that i'll introduce here in a second let me throw out my show notes real quick uh of course you can always go to shameplays.com that's shane like shane s-h-a-n-e and plays like i like to play stuff not like my place but like i like to play stuff shameplays.com and there's show notes that are up right now that have links to the news items we'll talk about today and, and, and our guest and River City Comic Expo and all that. So go to shameplays.com, check that out. The, the show does go out as a podcast a few days after the live show. It goes out on shameplays.com. It goes out on iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher. Also goes out on YouTube. A lot of people uh, f- keep up with the show on YouTube. Uh, and last, again, we are, we are carried on Krypton Radio a week delayed. Kryptonradio.com is sci-fi for your Wi-Fi. So let me introduce my guests real quick. They've been patiently waiting. Uh, guys, thanks while I a shout out there to well not but i've got Stuart barry hill coming back to the show he's he helps brent douglas uh in in very core fundamental ways with the river city comic expo Stuart's also a published comic artist so uh and we had you on last august welcome back to the show Stuart. thank you sir and you said earlier that that you've had some voice problems and a, and a sickness or something like that and you weren't yeah, I got a little cold okay so i said that well you could come on because you said you sound like a frog that's right. I said you could come on as the amazing frogman. Ribbit. And you know what the amazing frogman does, don't you? I have no idea. He fights a wart on crime. I'm just saying. I'm so, yeah. come on, guys. I don't, I don't even get a groan. Well, the applause oh. sign oh. didn't go off. So we didn't I don't know. even I don't even get a groan on that one. I love puns. It was supposed it's to be good. bad. It okay, was it was supposed to be bad. All right. All right. Uh well, Stuart, thanks for coming back on the show. Setting uh and sharing a microphone, it's, it's ironic that the sick guy is sharing a microphone. I guess we didn't think <laughs> yeah. that out. We have Justin Nichols, N-I-C-K-E-L-S, 
Nichols. <laughs> Justin Nichols, like the like the coin, he's the director of the Little Rock Picture Show. Yes. And who was heavily involved with the Little Rock Film Festival in its days. So, uh, and one of the things we'll be talking about today is the Little Rock Picture Show is now alongside River City Comic. Yeah, Expo, it's a part of it. Which is super cool. Yeah, so, it should be a good mix. Yeah, looking forward to uh, hearing more about what's going on there. You know, RCCE is becoming a major pop culture event. You know, beyond just, hey, some some booths with, you know, exhibitors and stuff like that. In just a few years, it's really grown. Uh, I've got Jeff Nodelman. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. All right. Who did not create Doug, let's be very clear, but was involved on a fundamental level with the Doug TV show, animated series. He is a... Uh, he is a animator and comic book artist, uh, and and his company helped produce or didn't help. They did produce the Venture Brothers. Yes, is that I, correct? I was okay, the founder of Noodle Soup Productions. So there we go. So and and we're going to have Jeff on for a full show down the road. So guys, thanks for coming on today. And then last but not least, you've already heard her when she let out the war whoop at the beginning of the show, <laughs> uh, Stephanie Straw. Who is here representing Game Goblins, but is was also just a you know a gamer and a podcaster and evidently a a, a game designer. We're hearing she's got some games she's working on herself. Uh, but we're going to be talking about what's going on with Game Goblins and the gaming component of Riz River City Comic Expo. Yeah, so there's a lot going on. Yeah, it's big. And folks, don't forget you can go to the show notes at shameplays.com or you can go to Facebook and search for River City Comic Expo or go to rivercitycomicexpo.com. This thing is big. It's coming next weekend, uh, June 11th. And 12th, right here in Little Rock at the State House Convention Center, it's taking up all four ballrooms of the State House Convention Center now. What's, that the, is what's re- the square footage of that? 90,000. A lot. It's Woo! a big spot. Well, I guess I should let Stuart answer that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I saw somewhere 90,000 square feet, which is just ridiculous because like five years ago or six years ago or something, this thing started at Woody Sherwood Forest. Yeah, it was a a little bit smaller then. Yeah, it's just really taken off. And, and, you know, I know Brent's not the only person involved. It takes a team. But, you know, he and others have done yeoman's work, including yourself. Too. I saw it last year because I was there doing my remote show live. And, you know, you guys were running around like crazy, but still taking time to help me out. You know, so. So you remember that? I do. I don't. I do. Yeah. I was like, ah, and you were, you were helping me out. So, yeah. <laughs> that's because he it. owes you. That's why he, <laughs> yeah. he had to remember it. Is that what it is? But yeah. we, uh. Man. It was amazing last year. It's going to be more amazing this year. Um, really grown. Is it, isn't this the first year that it's two days? Yes, sir. Oh, that's right. It's also two days this year, Saturday and Sunday. Yep. And Friday night, if uh, if something comes together, we'll put something out Friday night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the opening night film is Friday night at the Stayhouse Convention Center at 7. And so, and pass holders to uh, RCCE get in to that for free. Uh, the, uh, what, the VIP pass holders. What do we know what the opening night film is? It's called The Arbalist. It won the grand jury prize at South by Southwest. Okay. Um, so That's no small feat. No, it's uh it's uh a good thing everybody should check it out. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you from what I hear, South by Southwest is trembling because of the River City Comic Expo. <laughs> this is even really the should. final form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, uh oh, I forgot to give out if anybody has any questions or comments for our guest or for me, uh, then you can call 501-823-0965. That's 501-823-0965. Or you can tweet me at Shane Plays. Remember, this is Geek Talk Radio. This isn't just a podcast. There's nothing wrong with podcasts. I love podcasts. But this is Geek Talk Radio. This is just like uh, political talk radio or sports talk radio or you know religious talk radio or, hey, uh, what do I do about my car talk radio? But it's Geek Talk Radio. So this, you know, it's... it's it, and And... A year I shared with this off the air with my guest. This is the year anniversary. Happy birthday Happy to birthday. Shane Place. Happy birthday, Shane Place. Woohoo! So outstanding. May May thirtieth. Without having a clue what I was doing or what I was getting into, uh, uh, we had our first Shane Place show. Uh, hastily put together after about three weeks of deciding to do it. So um, and and then and then on we went. And and a year later. So here we are. And uh, I love doing it. I love I love having people on it. You know, I everybody in here is is chasing a dream, right? Or has chased a dream. Uh, and and this is I love doing this. So this is this is uh, this is in my DNA. So thanks for being with me on my on my year uh, anniversary show. So happy birthday to Shane Place. Uh, I also want to uh, we do we're blessed to have sponsors, but my Patreon supporters are very 
special and dear to me. Uh, the, the sponsors don't pay all the bills, but I'm so thankful to have my sponsors. And I mispronounced a new Patreon subscriber last year, I think, as Poshka. And it's actually Pasha, like Tasha. They tweeted me and said, oh, they were like, in last week, I was like, I hope I'm not messing this up. Uh, but anyway, Pasha, thanks so much for your support. Uh, it, it means when I get a Patreon supporter, you have no idea the win that puts in my sales. So it helps keep this show going. So over and above just the mon, over, over and above just the pledge, you know, just knowing that somebody out there cares enough that they want to want to help keep it going. You have no idea the wind that puts on my cell. So thanks so much. Um, and then um, last, I want to mention uh, this at, at River City Comic Expo this year will be the first time that we are having uh, role-playing games. We'll be talking about later uh, with Stephanie when we talk about the gaming stuff. So uh, real quick, guys, I got a couple of news items I'm going to throw out. You know, I told GL, I told you I wasn't going to do the news thing, but let's go ahead and have the news just so you can hit that button. To celebrate the year anniversary, let's have the news sound. Let's listen into the, that hard work and shame plays. There they are. Man, <laughs> hard working. Wow. They work on Saturdays. You so, threw him a curveball just then. Yeah, I did. He's like, ready. Oh. There was a little bit of panic. I'm not going to lie. I saw him. Yeah. Let me tell you that the listeners to the show are so lucky I don't have one of those uh, the soundboards. soundboards. Yeah. Oh, it would, it would be constant craziness. It would so. be like Joker laughs. Yeah, and, constantly. Yeah. yeah. I wonder oh, yeah. how much that would affect your Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. For for every Patreon supporter I get, that's one less soundboard noise that I would do. <laughs> during. And by the way, for every, pay, every dollar of Patreon support, that's a penny extra the news team gets an hour. Come on. Hey. That's amazingly. They, yeah, there you go. Right. That's right. That's a... Uh, that's uh, Justin throwing me some love there. All right, real quick, couple of quick news items. I, you know, this I hadn't planned for this to news be a news item, but I can't let this go by without throwing some love at the greatest of all time. And this is this transcends geek. This oh, I know you're Muhammad talking. Ali, yeah. Cassius Clay. Later, Muhammad Ali is gone, and that man was an American original, and you know he was a great boxer, but that sheer verbal poetry that he could just put forth it's just amazing there'll never be another like Cassius Clay aka Muhammad Ali and that's the name he wanted to go by was Muhammad Ali and so he's Muhammad Ali and dead at 74 uh you know we're losing the greats guys I, I see a lot of you know 2016 enough you know okay enough 2016 you know a lot of times when a celebrity goes it doesn't really affect me but Muhammad Ali is just one of the I mean he really does transcend and I, 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 what I want to honor him with real quick, there's a lot of stuff he did in his life I didn't agree with, but I respected how he did it. He took a stand, and he stood for it, and he did it in a classy way um, and in, in an original, creative way. So I, if, if people are out there, you know, not happy with their lives or whatever, take a, take a page from Muhammad Ali's book and take the, load rest, load, the road less traveled and, and stand up for something. So, I, you know, I can't even, he is the greatest rumble, young man, rumble. I can't even, I could do a whole show. Just Muhammad Ali was an original. And, and when, when him and Howard Cosell, that don't, that dynamic, oh man, it just, we're, there's, we'll never have them again. Muhammad Ali is gone. And that mouth, man, that, that beautiful mouth, that stuff he would say on the, on this is spontaneous, just blows me away. I mean, it, it, that impresses me more. His verbal dexterity impresses me more than his boxing skills, even though he was an amazing boxer. Verbal dexterity. Yeah. Like verbal it. dexterity. Yeah. He was amazing. Yeah, but so. to have the chops to back up yeah. what you talk about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to, to, start to, out, to start out and be able to, you know, just say he was going to do all the stuff he did. And then do and not have the size or the, uh, yeah. the physical presence and then do it, though. I mean, he beat people yeah. with his brain. Oh, yeah. He, well, the rope dope man. Yeah, man. The rope dope was incredible. I mean, yeah. The rope, that's what he did to. George Fraser in Africa, he nope. rope doped him. If people have never seen, there's a documentary called When We Were Kings. Man. That is an amazing documentary, and that will really give you insight into who Muhammad Ali was. Wasn't it Foreman was a, said he was afraid of crazy people? Yeah. So Ali well, made sure he <laughs> yeah, was afraid of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was just amazing. If you guys have anything you want to say about Muhammad, feel free. You don't have to. He was but. just such a role model, to, to especially to young athletes. Yeah. To get somebody to say, I hated every minute of training, but loved every minute of being a champion. Yeah. That's just, it's a wonderful thing to teach kids that, you know what? 
it, right. it is terrible, but you got to go through this. You have right. to work hard to get what you want. Otherwise it's not worth it at all. Right. I hear you. And he had, he had you know, he had, even though he was always talking trash, he had class there. There was a class about the man. So, you know, and, and we all have our flaws. He had his, but he's an American original and he's gone. So uh, if anybody else wants to say anything about Muhammad, feel free. If not, we are going to move on, but uh, we're going to, I'm going to miss just knowing he's out there. He was an American original and they broke the mold on Muhammad Ali. So, so rumble, young man, rumble wherever you are. Um, all right. And then last want to throw out real quick. I talked about this last week. I'm not going to go into it again here. I've got a video up on YouTube. It's linked on the show on the sh- uh, show notes page where I'm not real happy with Marvel comics right now over what they did with Captain America. <laughs> if people want to go check it out, it's blown away. It's got almost 17,000 views right now, hundreds of comments, and it's got about a 72% thumbs up. And I just spontaneously went nuclear on YouTube. If you put a popular opinion on yeah. the internet, yeah. it'll, it'll get response. It went boom. I wasn't trying to be clickbait. <laughs> or an unpopular opinion. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't trying to... Is, are those rocket raccoon earrings? They are rocket raccoon earrings. <laughs> I just earrings. noticed that. They're spectacular. <laughs> I saw them before and I didn't say anything. The but, owner of Bruno's Little yeah. Italy downtown actually made these for me. That's cool. You know, oh. what, all right, so we'll get back to that here in a second. But, get her some free spaghetti. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. Yeah, Bruno's are, you know, I take sponsors, just so you know. So, but no, there was, um, you know, I'm very unhappy with Marvel beyond just the normal comic book stunt stuff. And uh, yeah, I wasn't trying to be clickbaity, but that video, and I don't, you know, I do some YouTube stuff, but that's not my main focus, but that video has gone nuts. So if people want to go check it out, offer their opinion, it's linked on the Shane Plays show notes page, or really you can, it's blowing me away. You can go type in Captain America or Captain America Hydra or Captain America Nazi on YouTube. I'm like first page. That blows me away. So anyway. there are no geek yeah. opinions like comic opinions. Yeah, boy, I went. I, mean, I don't normally let my entertainment so become my politics, but I went off. I went nuclear. I feel you. I feel yeah. you. I went nuclear. So all right, enough of all that. Let's move on. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk River City Comic Expo, um, Little Rock Picture Show. Uh, we're going to talk uh, with Jeff about some of the cool kind of guests that you can meet at. Um, at River City Comic Expo. We're going to talk with Stephanie about the games you can do there. And there's a massive, huge announcement about River City Comic Expo. If you, by chance, haven't heard about this guest, this will blow you away. And you need to t- you need to stay tuned after the break, and I'm going to let Stuart tell us after the break about this huge guest, last-minute guest, major, major stuff. So anyway, when we come back on uh, Shane Plays Radio, a journey into the things we love, go ahead and take us to a break, GL. Hold on to your butt. June 11th to 12th at the State House Convention Center in Little Rock, the River City Comic Expo is Arkansas's largest comic, toy, game, cosplay convention and now features the Little Rock Picture Show. Guests for 2016 include Neil Adams, Mike Zeck, James Sobear, Larry Hama, Michael Golden, and Arkansas's own Mitch and Elizabeth Brettreiser, John Lucas, and Dusty Higgins. You'll find booth after booth with artists and dealers representing comics, toys, books, movies, games, and so much more. So come on out to the River City Comic Expo, June 11th and 12th at the State House Convention Center in Little Rock. RiverCityComicExpo.com. Fairly alarmed here. Comic book lovers, visit the wildstars.com today. today. From the mind of author and comic book industry expert Michael Tierney, it's not just a comic book, it's a comic book novel. The Wild Stars is sci-fi and so much more. Learn the explanations behind UFOs and space gods. This isn't the Twilight Zone. This is the region of the Milky Way galaxy known as the Wild Stars. We guarantee you've never read anything like it. The complete comic book novel took 20 years to tell. With one reviewer noting, the story of the Wild Stars stretches ambitiously across space and time. From small town murders to the destruction of planets, with every event given multiple layers of meaning. If you haven't read The Wild Stars, you're missing out. Visit thewildstars.com today. Mega Wars Darknet. The classic online space strategy game has returned, bigger and better than ever before. Scout the universe and claim your empire. Construct, customize, and launch dozens of different starships. Battle thousands of opponents online in a team-based competition leading to the ultimate Battle of the Galaxy. Grab your slot today for the only online game where tactics and strategy still reign supreme. 
Visit MegaWars.net and get options only available in our special pre-sales previews running now. MegaWars.net The die is cast. Plunge into worlds of fantastic adventure where dragons lie. And the undead stalk the shades of your mind's imagines. Where creatures of legend plunder wealth through the horror of their passage. Monsters grim and foul hold the ecstasy of gold and the renown of glory. All this and more awaits you and your friends in the unlimited, fantastic world of the Castles and Crusades role-playing game from Troll Lord Games. Visit your friendly local game store or trolllord.com to get your copy today. A rules-light, adaptable game that has stood the test of time. Twelve years in constant publication with no new additions, Castles and Crusades is the original easy-to-play attribute check system. Join us and unleash your imagination. Visit your friendly local game store Game store or trolllord.com to get your copy of Castles and Crusades today. Shame Plays Radio is blessed to have sponsors and we appreciate them very much. However, did you know that you can also support the show as an individual for as little as $1 an episode? Simply go to patreon.com slash Shane Plays. And we're back. Oh, what is wrong with you? This isn't just some stunt. This isn't just some, oh, this will be an neat story. This is wrong. I mean, this is wrong. Yeah, and that's GL playing a little bit of my uh, my rant video on YouTube. So if, if, you, want, if you want more of that uh, for about seven minutes <laughs> where I go just berserk and lose my mind. Hail Hydra. Yeah, we'll do it now. Now, just see. Let's just. You got to uh, whisper it. Uh, Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. <laughs> now, Hell Hydra for 75 years because we're completely rewriting the entire history of the character who was character its creators were Jewish it. by the way they have to go to YouTube and, they have to and right it. before Memorial Day when we honor our fallen dead spoilers you oh. don't get them started now, they've only done this story what five six times Easy. yeah hashtag boycott Marvel Easy. hashtag say yeah. no to Hydra yeah Marvel's cap. dead yeah. you're right they're over know. with I'm overreacting I know it <laughs> I know I've been caught into the PR stunt but Oh, I got uh, Strawberry Globe um, on Twitter said, happy birthday. Thank you, Strawberry Globe. I'm almost positive that's Pasha that we were talking about earlier that uh, was the uh, Patreon supporters. Thank you very much, um, Strawberry Globe. I'm, I'm glad to be here for a year. Okay, so here we go. Um, Stuart, give us a lowdown a little bit on RCCE this year, which is next weekend, June 11th and 12th, right here in State House Convention Center, Little Rock, Arkansas. Yes, sir. Who... Tell us, man, who this big, huge guest, in case people haven't heard, this landed at the last second. Michelle Nichols is coming. Wow. And how do we, prom- you know, there was a, a little bit of confusion. I always say Uhura, but how, how, what's the correct way to pronounce her character's name? Does anybody know? I say Uhura. Uhura. That's probably Uhura. right. What I say? Well, you can ask her. Yeah, when she gets yeah. here. So, you could just watch the show. Yeah. Well, I do, but it just doesn't <laughs> yeah. stick. Ask her. She came up with the name herself. Yeah, she did. That's yeah. some great trivia, Justin. She's the only Star Trek character that name or actress or actor that named their own character. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty incredible. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. So, and evidently, she's like super sweet. So, you know, a lot of these people that are famous or whatever, they go to the cons to make a buck or whatever. And they're not always like, real personable i guess but evidently she's like a total sweetheart so um we talked about that a little bit uh i had uh stewart and and josh from game goblins and stewart not stewart brent from rcce on the dave ellswick show couple, and we were talking about that sometimes you meet your heroes and you're like oh this is just a real person and they don't but nichelle is like evidently a super sweetheart so well, we're honored to have her yeah I'm looking so, forward to having her come see little rock and be here for the first time and uh, yeah, she's this is her first. This is her first visit to Little Rock. So amazing set of circumstances, just out of the blue. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. Well, I think what happened was, from what um, from what I understand, is she heard about the show last year and heard how much uh, excitement, enthusiasm, and energy was produced by Little Rock. <clears throat> Excuse me. And she responded to that, and she gave us a call and wanted to know if we had space and we were like oh yeah sure please yeah, we'll, please no, we'll we're full yeah. 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 yeah yeah no we'll make space <laughs> yeah good grief we'll make space the final frontier anything yeah. just please <laughs> show up hey i do the jokes around here no oh, you can sorry. do it too if you want it's okay i'll leave good. it to the professional all right if you make a pun though it can't be as bad as mine okay i've got a reputation to maintain 
I'll try. Okay. I am Thank so you. excited to meet her. <laughs> yeah, this would be super. Now, what is the deal, Stuart? Is she going to be fully available both days? I mean, how is how do people get to meet her? Is that arranged yet? Well, she'll have a, um, you'll have to get in line. Uh, you'll have to get uh, come to the con. Ten dollars to get in for both days. Uh, I'm sorry, fifteen for both. Thank you. Uh, Ten for one day. Uh, she will have access, but we're. I'm pretty sure she's going to have a kind of a big line. Yeah. So you want to get there early. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I'm saying, you know, anybody, and she's, um, man, how do I, I don't know if any, any, no matter how I say this, this is going to be taken wrong. So she's getting older. Okay. So she's not going to be there all day, both days. Just, I mean, is she going to have breaks or, I mean, you know, how's that going to work or. Well, as far as, because she can do anything she wants, but yeah, she, uh, she'll be there as, as often as she can. Okay. Um, She's going to give a panel on Sunday. Is she? What time is that? I believe it's at one o'clock. Cool. It's on the website. It's on Facebook. You can check it out there. We've got uh, we've got the River City Comic Con or Expo app that will give you. Uh, yeah, you got a new lineup. app now yeah. that you can download, and it works great. And now, is this like some cons have apps where it has like this is in this room and this in maps? Does this app go to that level? Yes. Or okay, so if you're going to the if you're going to the RCCE, you need to get the app. Definitely. Okay. Is this on? iTunes and Google Play, or how how can this be obtained? Do you know? Uh, I believe it. You can get it iTunes, Google Play. Uh, you can link to it, and there's a link on our Facebook page. Okay, super cool. Take I got it. I'm going to have to grab that. So, did y'all put it amazing? Did you did you put a big flashing thing for the hour that I'm going to be there broadcasting live remote? We put your name in lights. Did you? Yeah, oh, yeah. big arrows and stuff. Yeah. Last year it was funny. Uh, I didn't mind because I got to meet more people and introduce my show to people, but the table, and I think I'm going to be set up the same place again. It's like right by the main double doors going into that. And a lot of people thought I was information. They were coming <laughs> up and asking for it. I was like, I don't, I don't know. I'm just here to flap my lips for fun and profit. That's when you but role play. Yeah. 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 I should have, right. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah. You know what? I'm going to study for the next week and I'm going to develop, I'm going to develop the persona of the guy from 30 rock, the really super uptight, pure intern guy. And I'm going to be like that when people come up and ask for, for, uh, shame for, the page. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that'd be just right there. So, um, anyway, yeah, that I kept getting that, but it was cool because I got to talk to more people and introduce them to the concept of the show and all that stuff. But yeah, a lot of people just assumed I was information because I was right at that table. So, okay. I'm going to real quick, I'm going to kick the ball over to Jeff to give an example of the kind of cool people that are going to be there beyond just, you know, Michelle Nichols or, you know, just uh, people with booths with product and stuff like that. So, Jeff, y- you've got a pretty deep uh, history in animation and comics. In fact, I found your thing here and it said, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, is that is that what you want to do? Do you have by? a Wikipedia page? I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's I, a, let me say thank you, bro, for calling me cool. I think my kids are listening, so yeah. they could replay that. A yeah. The you are cool. No, you, <laughs> trust me. Your dad's cool. You have okay? to replay that when they do, just you replay yeah. it. No, your trust me, cool. your dad's cool. Yeah. I said it on the radio, so it must be true. Okay, so Jeff is a graduate and Dusty winner, which is, you were explaining the Dusties, so uh, explain that real quick. I, I went to a School of Visual Arts in Manhattan, and the, the Dusty is their uh, uh, equivalent to the Student Academy Award for a short film that they did. Very cool. All right. Um, so uh, for outstanding, outstanding achievements in animation from the School of Visual Arts, you moved to Little Rock with, his, uh, with your family a few years ago, and now you're with a local, con- I don't want to share too much about your personal details unless you just want to. Um but you're working with a, a well-known local company uh, as a vice president, correct? Yes. Okay. So uh, you started your animation career working for Walt Disney as a character designer and storyboard storyboard artist on TV classics like Doug, 101 Dalmatians, PB&J, Otter, and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Now, you later founded um, Noodle, Noodle Soup Productions yep. uh, that, with, that did shows such as The Venture Brothers, Gotham Girls, I didn't know you did got that's pretty cool. Avenue Q. Avenue Q, the Broadway musical. That actually was a really funny story. Um, you got, hold on. Are you guys familiar with oh, Avenue Q? Oh, I want to bust out into so many songs, yeah. but I can't right so, now. All right. So <laughs> what did you do with Avenue Q? Well, when when uh when I first founded Noodle Soup, uh, I'll give you the background behind the name. My my last name is Noodleman. Always everyone always calls me Noodles. It's just been my nickname. Noodles. Forever. When my sister got married, her last name became Campbell. You can't yep. make that up. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's where Noodle Soup came from. But when uh, we first started, uh, it was me and, and about five or six other animators that were working at, at Disney. 
Uh, we all left because I came home ranting one day going, I can run my own studio better than this. And my wife Come made on, me Disney? do it. She was like, uh, yeah. prove it. Yeah. Yeah, so she did, <laughs> go ahead, go do it. So we did. We started off really, really small. It was a bunch of guys in a It was just kitchen. one can of soup. Yeah. Exactly. In Jersey City, it was uh, three, four of us and a flatulent bulldog, and we just worked our butts <laughs> off. Um, Why did you name your studio Flatulent Bulldog Production? We thought about it. Yeah. Actually, the dog's name was Jupiter, so because it was just a big ball of gas. Well, I mean, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because Jupiter is a big gas giant. Uh, so we worked on a bunch of really fun stuff, and uh, we got to do some stuff for, for, for Warner Brothers Online, and there's a small little off-Broadway show called Avenue Q, and they were moving from off-Broadway to Broadway. They had these animated interstitials. None of us had ever seen the show before. Really couldn't pay us a whole lot of money to do this stuff. So we did the, the interstitials, and I saw the scripts and stuff like One Night Stands, and ha, 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 it was very funny. I, I got it. Very punny. You would have liked it. Um, <laughs> but I never saw the show. They paid us by giving us a whole stack of tickets and a little bit of yeah. stuff. It took my mom. Oh no! <laughs> oh, this story does not oh, end Jeff. well. That's oh, bad no. news bears yeah, right there. I've never seen. I've heard some of the songs when the song "The Internet Is for Porn" <laughs> came on. It was just yeah. Well, Ooh, it was really funny because so I I've got, I've got my little Jewish mother who's sitting there at the yeah. beginning of the show going, yeah. "My son worked on this." Yeah, and, and at the end like, of the show, wouldn't talk to anyone. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Wow, because Avenue Q is incredibly well done oh, and creative, but the subject matter is. Can, you know, is pretty, I, I don't know, Stephanie, it's there's a word. It's sensitive. It's yeah. sensitive, yeah. yeah. Creative, but sensitive. It's basically, uh, if, if someone took Sesame Street and made it in the cynical real world, kind yeah. of. Yeah. yeah. It, so, it's, all right. it's drunk Sesame Street. It was <laughs> created by an Arkansas, like, too. Was it really? Yeah. Do you know his name off I of it? Or her it, name off of it? It's a man, he directed Pitch Perfect. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to look Fayetteville. it up real quick. I can't think of his name. What, one of the puppeteers, Rick Lyons, just a really, really cool guy. He's actually the one that did the, the Trekkie Monster, the, the big... Uh, uh, he actually made me a Muppet that I have in my house. Of you? Awesome. No, not of oh. me. I ended up working on another project, and he, he made. So I have a real Muppet from a, a Jim Henson cool. puppeteer, which is really. Have you? And this cool. is off. Uh, this is off topic. I'll I'll rein us back real quick. But have you ever seen Meet the Feebles by Peter Jackson? No. It's like a real twisted version of the Muppets. Has anybody it's seen it? Mm -mm. It's like one of Peter Jackson's earliest movies. If you like that kind of thing, you'll like meet the feebles but Check it's it dark okay it's it's very dark uh right. yeah i think okay so gl went and looked that up for us is jason moore yeah yeah so he he directed now what he created like the whole avenue q or i was, think so wow <laughs> it's a it's a small world yeah, yeah. be nice to everybody because you're gonna meet you never know uh, everything comes back to arkansas yeah. yeah so okay folks so uh mm. mature content warning but if you if you like clever dark uh, satire and 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 because satire is a very effective way of making points about sure. society and life then go check out um check out uh avenue q so it's a it's it's a dark and twisted and drunken evidently uh sesame street yeah. and and stephanie loves it i do love it she, she wants to burst into song right now i do all right so many songs all right so anyway but 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 jeff is an example of many 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 guests that will be at uh at river city comic expo i didn't even get to finish you were you've worked with gotham girl uh, avenue q you've done comic books with tokyo pop and fangoria you've done some design work for marvel i think you said in dc uh it, it, and it just goes on and on and then of course you want to play defense for the new york rangers on their way to stanley cup win but you're saying that may or may not happen at this point you're not well, i don't know the way they finished the uh the, the uh, playoff run this year i may actually have a shot you might uh, okay yeah, <laughs> yeah they may yeah they, it'll be like uh uh, what was when the NFL had the strike? So they were, oh, yeah, yeah, the, 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 the just everybody off the off the uh, street came in to work uh, to try out the replacements. Hey, man, go. GL, he's, he's whispering on. The on I'm like, you get him on the mic. Yeah, there you go. Switch well, GL's places. always welcome to pipe in whenever he wants to. He knows that. So, given like if somebody comes by and and meets you at River City, like what can they expect? Are you doing? I'm actually, I'm actually going to be doing some drawings uh, okay. this time, and uh, uh, I think I'm on a panel as well. Yeah. Uh, and on uh, Sunday, I'm going to be doing some portfolio reviews. I did. Uh, I used to do that for SVA and a couple of other schools as well in the New York area. Um, I, I moved down here a couple of years ago with my family. We absolutely love Little Rock. Yeah. We we rescued our dog from care. Um, the gassy dog? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I, this I, is I, no, a different dog. His, oh, his name is Ranger. Cool yeah. And uh, uh, we've been working with care as uh, volunteers. I've been donating some. Uh, paintings and some stuff and uh uh I'll, all the drawings i do 
Uh, I'll be doing for a twenty dollar donation. That's going to go to that's care. Cool. So if you come on down, we're actually going to be. I'm going to be doing all the classic Doug characters. So let me know who you want me to draw. Uh, try not to test my memory too much. I'm going to have some reference. I'm going to cheat a little <laughs> bit. I'm a little rusty, so I'll have some reference. But we'll draw Quail Man and Doug and Pork Chop, and all the proceeds are going to go to Care, which is just a really wonderful organization here. And that's so who Care, Care for Animals? It's Care for Animals. It's a Central really Arkansas rescue effort. Very good. I always. I, I mean, I love animals. I, I'm I'm the guy on Facebook that's always retweeting the um, Arkansas lost and found pets. I don't know if you see that stuff. I'm constantly uh, resharing that stuff. I, I love animals, so it's great that you do that. Um, who's your Who's your primo character? Like, what's the character that you, like you think you do best? Oh boy, I don't know. It really depends on the day. Uh, I was pretty good at Batman for a little were while you? there. Yeah. Well, when we were working on Gotham Girls, it was great because we were doing it for the website. Yeah. Uh, and the site did so well. Um, that uh, I actually got a call from uh, Bruce Tim, and then we started Whoa, talking have, with yeah, him you're definitely and Paul Dini and road, those dude. guys, and that was that was a whole lot of fun to kind of get the 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 comic to go from there, the art to go from there. And wow. again, it wasn't just me; it was a whole yeah, team sure. of, a group of guys. Right. Uh, I cut my teeth on Beavis and Butthead because uh, yeah. I went to school in in Manhattan, so. You either interned at MTV or you interned at Jumbo Pictures. So you interned at MTV? I started at MTV, and we did uh, we did uh, uh, Beavis and Butthead. We did the Max. We did a bunch of those you did things. The, I, okay, dude, you were so coming on the show down the road. Uh, I'm okay. serious, man. And then, then, then from there, we moved on to Doug. And, uh, did you do Aeon Flux? Did you uh, do, no, I didn't get Was to, that outside of MTV? Did that, no, that was that still, was that was still in and I, yeah. I believe that was like Abby Turkuli and all those guys as well. Oh, but man. it was, uh, all right. the stuff looked gorgeous. Dude, yeah. But, yeah. Doug, got, Doug was probably my favorite show personally right. to work on. I love drawing those characters. It's just a great story. Um, right. And then we got to do some really fun development stuff. Uh, when I was in Noodle Soup, we worked all the way through uh, feature films. We did right. uh, openings to like Duplex with uh, Ben Stiller. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, we did My Baby's Daddy. We did uh, uh, Alias with Jennifer Garner. Sure. So we got to do that's some really super fun stuff. cool. All right, yeah, you're definitely coming on the show if you'll come on, man. I've got to. Unfortunately, I got to move us on. But that's cool. So that's the kind of person you can meet, folks, if you come to River City Comic Expo. And if you come, look for Jeff. Have him do a drawing and 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 uh, do a donation to care to help out the animals. So we're going to talk real quick about Little Rock uh, Picture Show. Um, and then I'm going to take us to a break and then talk about the games. Um, there's only, you know, I love to say time is a predator that stalks us all our lives. I mean, we just run out of time so quick. Uh, Real quick, uh, Justin, what what can people expect from the Little Rock Picture Show at the River City Comic Con? Uh, we've got a lot of feature films. I think we've got eight or nine feature films that we'll be showing uh, that have never been seen in Arkansas before. Uh, one of them is a world premiere called Diverge. It's a science fiction film uh, about time travel uh, from a Little Rock native who lives in New York now. Do you, do you, um, uh, is it? Do you think it's going to be better or worse than Primer? Because I think Primer is like <laughs> the best time travel movie uh, ever done. It's similar to Primer, is it? I would say. Um, it's not as uh, dry as primer. Is. Okay. Yeah. Dry yeah. primer was almost like eavesdropping on other people. Right. Yeah. I mean, it was like, yeah. you got, they gave you no context. You just right. had to go with it. Yeah. You should watch upstream color. It's, I love it's upstream color. Yeah. It's both of those movies. I had to just say, forget it. I got to go to the internet and find out what I just watched, <laughs> yeah. but I loved it. <laughs> right. So yeah. If you uh, say time travel, I'm in. Yeah. Like well, I will watch every have you seen time primer? travel movie. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> primer was cool. So what, so you're going to, you're going to now, is it just throughout Actually, it's two and a half days because you're talking about yeah. doing something Friday night. The so Friday night is their opening night. It's at that's at the State House Convention Center on Saturday. Uh, we're at the State House Convention Center and also the Ron Robinson Theater, uh, where we're there all day. And that night, we're going to be showing the Crow with the creator James Obar, the original Crow, the original Crow. Okay, uh, we're with also Jason gonna, Lee, uh, uh, Brandon Lee, yeah. Brandon Lee. Yeah. Um, and what time is that? That right. is at is it seven ish. Yeah. It might be six forty five. Uh, uh, but anyway, um, uh, following that is the uh, silent film with a live score by a rock band. Um, and that's our third year to do that. We're doing uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, cool. Have you seen on Netflix where they took the From the Earth to the Moon and they colorized it? And mm -hmm. they had America. I think the band is called America. Yeah, no, Air. Air, yeah. Air, dude. That, that's one of yeah. my favorite things in the world to watch that. Oh, it's definitely. It's so amazing. And that yeah. color is, is actually from the original. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's what I heard. It. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, yeah it's, it's basically that style. We've done it uh, two years ago. We did Metropolis. Last year we did Nosferatu. Uh -oh. So this year we're going to do. Man, you guys that. are doing some. Now, are you doing, do y'all do stuff with Little Rock Picture Show outside of a once a year event? Or is it a once a year event? Uh, it's been a once a year event. Uh, we were a part of the Little Rock Film Festival where we were the outside yeah. event of the Little Rock Film Festival for the last four years. And so now we're with River City Comic Expo. So uh, it's interesting to see where we'll go from here. I mean, we're 
We okay. love working with now, them. Now, does awesome. the, the ticket that gets me into RCCE, does that get me it into It gets you the, into all the films. And what's cool, great. if you get the yeah. VIP pass, you yeah. get to get in line for Nichelle Nichols like 30 minutes earlier because oh, the floor whoa. opens 30 minutes earlier. Cool. Okay, I hate to do it. I got to take us to a break. <clears throat> That's fine. When we come back, we're going to try to work <laughs> in some, some games. But Little Rock Picture Show, major edition companion to River City Comic Expo. So you got several cool movies. It sounds like. Okay, cool. Now, is is all of your stuff on the River City Comic Expo website, or do you have a it is? Website? It's also on the app. Okay, on the app. Okay, great. Jill, take us to a break. When we come back. Uh, we're going to talk with Stephanie about some of the gaming stuff. Hold on to your butt. June 11th to 12th at the State House Convention Center in Little Rock, the River City Comic Expo is Arkansas's largest comic, toy, game, cosplay convention and now features the Little Rock Picture Show. Guests for 2016 include Neil Adams, Mike Zeck, James Sobear, Larry Hama, Michael Golden, and Arkansas's own Mitch and Elizabeth Brettreiser, John Lucas, and Dusty Higgins. You'll find booth after booth with artists and dealers representing comics, toys, books, movies, games, and so much more. So come on out to the River City Comic Expo, June 11th and 12th at the State House Convention Center in Little Rock. RiverCityComicExpo.com. Fairly alarmed here. Comic book lovers, visit the wildstars.com today. today. From the mind of author and comic book industry expert Michael Tierney, it's not just a comic book, it's a comic book novel. The Wild Stars is sci-fi and so much more. Learn the explanations behind UFOs and space gods. This isn't the Twilight Zone. This is the region of the Milky Way galaxy known as the Wild Stars. We guarantee you've never read anything like it. The complete comic book novel took 20 years to tell, with one reviewer noting, the story of the Wild Stars stretches ambitiously across space and time, from small town murders to the destruction of planets, with every event given multiple layers of meaning. If you haven't read The Wild Stars, you're missing out. Visit thewildstars.com today. Mega War Darknet. The classic online space strategy game has returned, bigger and better than ever before. Scout the universe and claim your empire. Construct, customize, and launch dozens of different starships. Battle thousands of opponents online in a team-based competition leading to the ultimate Battle of the Galaxy. Grab your slot today for the only online game where tactics and strategy still reign supreme. Visit Megawars.net and get options only available in our special pre-sales previews running now. Megawars.net the die is cast. Plunge into worlds of fantastic adventure where dragons lie and the undead stalk the shades of your mind's imagines. Where creatures of legend plunder wealth through the horror of their passage. Monsters grim and foul hold the ecstasy of gold and the renown of glory. All this and more awaits you and your friends in the unlimited, fantastic world of the Castles and Crusades role-playing game from Troll Lord Games. Visit your friendly local game store or trolllord.com to get your copy today. A rules-light, adaptable game that has stood the test of time. 12 years in constant publication with no new additions, Castles and Crusades is the original easy-to-play attribute check system. Join us and unleash your imagination. Visit your friendly local game Game store or trolllord.com to get your copy of Castles and Crusades today. Shame Plays Radio is blessed to have sponsors and we appreciate them very much. However, did you know that you can also support the show as an individual for as little as $1 an episode? Simply go to patreon.com slash Shane Plays. Hey, we're back. Shane Tays. Shane Taze? Shane plays. <laughs> That's a different show. <laughs> Somebody needs to tase me after that video I made on Captain America. Shane plays Geek Talk Radio, a journey into things we love. We've been talking about River City Comic Expo with Stuart Barry Hill and uh, Jeff Nodelman. And also uh, we've been talking about now the Little Rock Picture Show is, is, is joined forces River City Comic Expo. We've been talking to Justin Nichols about that. And now the, with our remaining approximately five minutes, we're going to talk about the gaming that you can do at River City Comic Expo. So Stephanie Straw, lay it on us with, and she's with Game Goblins, by the way, who is a a continuing um, and much appreciated sponsor of Shane Plays. So take it away, Stephanie. 
Um, yeah, so Game Goblins has been involved with the uh, expo for, I think this is the fourth year. And um, if you're walking around, you're getting tired, kind of want to just sit down, we have board games available for you for rent for $5. We have a whole booth for that. Um, you can rent a board game, $5. When you return the game, you'll get $5 store credit as a coupon. So it's really free. It's a win-win. Yeah, it's really and free. And you'll have product there to sell yes. as well, right? Uh -huh. We will have board and card games to sell. We also have a couple of events. Um, one of them you're going to be helping with, the yeah. RPGs. Well, tell us about yeah. Tell us about the Magic and the Warhammer, and then we'll talk about the RPGs. Yeah, we have yeah. Uh, Warhammer, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Hero Clicks, Magic. We have all of that tournaments. Some of them you can win real cash prizes, that kind of thing. Um, these are like all of the big tournaments in each of their respective class, like big Yu-Gi-Oh!, big Hero Clicks, big Warhammer, big Magic the Gathering, like all of that stuff. So if you're interested in any of that or if you just kind of want to check it out but um definitely all levels of play there too not necessarily just advanced for some for some beginners and stuff too so okay so b when you go to you can go to gamegoblins.com or you can go to <laughs> game goblins on facebook so uh as Stephanie was saying there, there's going to be a large area at river city comic expo dedicated just to gaming mm -hmm. and it's going to be card games pardon me board games uh role-playing games warhammer all this crazy stuff, but you can also, like you said, check out a game and yep. play it. And mm -hmm. there's going to be like, how many t different titles are you going to have to choose from? Um, you know, I don't know exactly how many titles our library has. Probably at least a hundred. We'll, wow. we'll bring our full library. Um, some of them are just small, quick card games. Some of them are longer games, a couple of hours. So if you want to just sit down, have lunch, play a game, um, or if you just kind of want to check out some of the stuff, we'll be able to give you demos of most of the games. Um, you can bring your own games. So. so it's a great opportunity to to game, get exposed to new games, participate in a tournament, et cetera. Now, with the role-playing games at River City Comic Expo that I'm doing in conjunction with um, Game Goblins, you can, you can actually buy your ticket to RCCE through Game Goblins if you're also get you know buying access to the tournament or the event or whatever yeah uh is that the same with like if you're coming to play magic and you're paying an entry fee for the tournament can you also get your river city comic expo ticket through game goblins yes all okay. of the events you can register for right now and it will get you entry into the river city comic expo as well okay so and that's um that's that's also the same thing with the role-playing games the way we're doing it this is very first year we're ever doing this I, I called Josh from game like two months ago. I said, Hey, you want to try to do this? Yeah. So we're just, you know, doing it for the first time, kind of building it for future years. But there is actually going to be organized role playing games at River City Comic Expo in conjunction with Game Goblins. So it's a joint venture between Shane Plays and Game and Game Goblins. There hasn't been role playing games at the River City Comic Expo up to this date. And your if you buy uh, your ticket through Game Goblins, then as, as Stuart mentioned earlier, it's $15 for a two-day ticket to RCCE. You can pay $15 through Game Goblins and you get your RCCE ticket and your first game session for the role-playing games for free. Yeah. Basically, the way the way it works out at the end. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Try to, you know, uh, if, if you're definitely going to play games there, you may want to consider buying your ticket through Game Goblins. And there's there's links on the, on the shameplays.com on the show notes and on... Um, and there's a Facebook page uh, for that, uh, for the role-playing games there. So look that up. Uh, but go to shameplays.com if you want the, want the direct link. we got Star Wars, D&D, RPGs, uh, Numenera, all kinds of uh, a really good wide spectrum of game types uh, for people to play. So, guys, we got uh, 30 seconds left. Say goodbye. Uh, go and say bye. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah, thanks so much. That was, uh, we, had, <laughs> we had Justin Nichols in the Rock Picture Show. We had Stuart Berryhill, who is a comic artist, and... Uh, with the River City Comic Expo, we had Stephanie Straw, who's like a gaming maven, and uh, <laughs> with Game Goblins, and follow her on Insert, Insert Straw here. And we have Jeff Nodelman, who's an animator and comics artist and all kinds of cool stuff. We will catch you next week live from the River City Comic Expo.